Stromness is another sector that requires careful time planning. In Westray Firth there are two lots of tide rips, the Rull Roost and the Rullard Roost, and both of these need to be avoided when they're in operation. And at the far end of the sector, just on the approach to Stromness, is Hoy Sound. Here there are races which are advertised as being dangerous to all vessels, so clearly we want to give them a miss. Our plan was to arrive at the entrance to Hoy Sound just about an hour before the tide turned, so we were on the very last knockings of the roost, and to use the 10 metre contour to miss the normal area where they occur and pick our way through. As it happened, this worked out beautifully and we had a smooth run all the way with just a knot or so of current against us for the last hour. We could, of course, have come later when the tidal flows to the east, which doesn't have a roost, but that would have given us adverse tides for the rest of the trip. very little in the way of wash. There are a few fishing boats over there but they seem to creep in and out quite quietly. It's been very good. Nothing's perfect, there are some downsides and they're worth knowing about in advance if you're going to come here because they combine to make it possible that you might have an interesting arrival. So first thing to note is that the finger pontoons are very narrow and they are the sort that bounce up and down a great deal when you walk on them. They're only about 500 mil wide at top 600 mil wide, so they're not very good. And as you can see, they are not the most stable. If I walk to the very end, it feels very wobbly, as you can see, so not great. So that's the first thing. But the second and more important thing is there are no cleats, they're all rings. Now, this is not unique to Stromness. You get this in uh, Pirawal, for example. That's the same thing there. There's a couple in Pirawal that have got main cleats on at the on the visitor pontoon, but mostly it's little D-rings like this. Now, why is that important? Well, because if you're like me and you've got a wife who doesn't like jumping off onto the pontoons by finger berths when there's no boat opposite, particularly when it's a springy one like this, it means that there's no way she could have done it. Now, fortunately, and this is why it's worth telling you about it, the very inner D-ring on just about all of these, I think, looking around, have got, I say all of them, there's one there that hasn't, but, but most of them have got this little crossbar on one of the D-rings right at the base. So what we did, I always like to come in the stern anyway, we were able to throw a line over that cleat with the stern line and then power against it to make sure the boat stayed in while we sorted it out. Uh, so it wasn't a problem for us, but if you do decide you're going to come in forwards, if you don't have a a boy pickup tool which I don't have then just bear in mind that you're going to want to put the crew member ashore right near the base of this finger pontoon if they're not confident these bits here the little fillets they're not slippery and they're quite solid but the actual finger itself is not great um, that said small detail what a lovely place and um, we've had a lovely stay here and if you come you really have to go to Scarra Bray it's well worth it found that useful or interesting or both as always please hit like 
hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, all these things really help the channel to grow. Do come back soon.